if you're a member of any of the truck groups on Facebook or you're still in a forum somewhere, there's two common questions that get asked all the time, every single day. And that's what size tire can I fit with just a leveling kit? And what's the brightest headlight bulbs I can get for my truck? Um, I don't know about the tires, but I do know that the answer that's always given for the headlights are wrong. Um, you can spend $30 if you want on a set of bulbs from Amazon or eBay or whatever. They're not gonna do it for you. This right here, that's the best option. And it's not technically a bulb, it's a projector retrofit. These are by LED. Uh, right now I've got a set of by Xenon um, projectors in my 3500 already. The good thing about the 15 through 19 HD um, Chevrolets is you don't have to take the whole headlight apart to get the projectors out. They come out through the dust covers on the back. So um, I'm gonna unbox this, show you what's inside of here, and then we'll get working on the process. It's super easy, takes a couple hours, a couple hundred bucks. Don't spend 60 grand on a truck and then put a set of $30 bulbs in it. You're wasting your time. Anyway, let's get to it. Why not use the old trusty, rusty workbench for an unboxing video, right? So, like I said, these are by LED projectors. Um, the cool part about by LED or by Xenon projectors is you wind up with uh, an extra set of high beams, basically. So, um, we'll put the open here. So, as you take that off, they're always packaged really well. Um, these are, like I said, by LED. There's not a whole lot in here, but basically, this is the whole thing. So, these are the wires that you have to wire up to, which I'll have to, I'll have to look and see, I can't remember which one does which, but basically, um, two wires are to power the, um, the actual projector itself, and then there are um, a couple wires to power the high beam um, shield to drop. And on these, there's actually an auxiliary, I guess you'd call it. There's an extra LED that kicks on when you turn on the high beam. So that's um, where you get a whole bunch more intensity when you turn the high beam on. So um, now I'll just run through the quick process of popping the headlights out and swapping these things in. So from here, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is pop the hood, take the shroud off. There's a bunch of plastic clips holding that on. The grill's held on with a few uh, 10 millimeter bolts. They're pretty easy. Uh, there's a few on the top, a few on the front that you have to get through the uh, front of the grill to get to. And the headlights are also held on with a few 10 millimeter bolts, two on the top, and then there should be one that you have to access from your fender liner. Again, pretty easy to get to. Once you do all that, this is what you're left with. Then you can take your headlights inside. From there, that's when you're gonna take everything out from the, uh, from the backside. So let's get after it. So here's the back of the headlights. Um, it looks all pretty normal. So this is the uh, HID kit that I got from the retrofit source. Um, I've had these for, I don't know, three or four years now. I've done pretty well, but like I said, I'm ready to upgrade them. Um, normally there's not a hole in your uh, dust cap here. You have to drill a hole out when you run this HID kit and uh, wire everything up. It's not too bad, not too much of a headache, but the uh, by LED projectors will simplify everything. So you won't have all these wires and stuff hanging out. It's pretty cool though with this HID kit because you don't have to run wires to the battery and all that and deal with or trigger wires and all that crap because it automatically does it um, with this whole kit. So it's pretty cool, but time to upgrade. So let's get this stuff tore out of here. So anyway, that's the whole HID kit there. The caps we got to, um, to use still obviously. So you could unpin all these wires if you're gonna reuse them for something else. I'm not, so I'm just gonna cut them I think at least the bulb wires. Um, but that's what the back of the uh, by Xenon projector looks like. So basically these nuts and bolts holding it on, um, they're actually attached to a bracket. It's basically an adapter to make it fit. And then the uh, little star bolts there, those are the ones that actually hold the bracket to the housing, if you can see that behind that stud there. So there's a few of those on there. Super easy, they just slide right out. You just gotta have the right tool for the job. So let me go figure out what size um, uh, Torx screwdriver that is. So here's what the projector looks like with the brackets on there. On the uh, by Xenon, I had the uh, brackets in front of um, a piece of metal that my pinky's touching there. That's kind of the main part of the frame of the light. It used to be on the front. I had to put it on the back now because it was like the projectors. These aren't quite as long, so it was sitting kind of back into the housing. So uh, anyway, I put it on the back like that, and uh, now I just got to put it back in the housing. I'll show you how that looks. So basically, 
you just have to line it up with those holes. You can kind of see how it goes there. And uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand here to get it straight and lined up. But anyway, yeah, you just get it in there like that and uh, put the um, screws that came out of the headlight itself. Anyway, those go back in. There's four of them. And then you just got to do a little bit of wiring. So here you have it when they're installed in the truck. This is what they look like. Nice crispy cutoff line. It's kind of hard to tell the width because you kind of sort of see at the bottom of that tree there, but then your high beams though, that's where it really pays off. So there you go. It's the best thing you can do for your high beam, for your headlights. Anyway, so that's it as far as getting the projectors in there. Uh, it's pretty easy, and if you don't have the HID kit like I was running before, you won't have all those wires to deal with. Um, you'll just need the projectors themselves. You'll need the brackets from Custom Brackets and Designs. And then the only other thing that I forgot about was I needed to get an anti-flicker module uh, because when you run HID, or excuse me, when you run LEDs, sometimes it'll run into issues with the computer. Um, so basically, once I got the truck running, they flickered a little bit and then went off. The, the truck, basically, the computer shut them down. So... Uh, once those come in, you just wire them in line to the um, uh, headlight wires, and you're done. So uh, anyway, if you have any questions or whatever, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. But uh, otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.